If you want to attract moths to your yard, you can get a white sheet, like the one I have here. You want to get a 100% cotton sheet. You can get them fairly cheaply at any department store. You want to set them up near a light source, or if you don't have a sheet, you can even just uh, set up a light near a light colored part of your home if you have light siding or a light wall near your light colored wall near your house. I've got some extra lights here that I've set up. These are, there's two types of lights here. I have them on just the clamp work lights you can buy at the hardware store. And I've got a, a, a stand here that I bought online. I have two different types of light bulbs here. I have the black lights, which are the darker light bulbs. And I have compact fluorescent lights that are uh, the larger white ones that are a high wattage compact fluorescent light. The moths are attracted to the ultraviolet light spectrum and people who are more professional at this have uh, higher output lights that are mercury vapor lights which are quite expensive um, and sometimes need special uh, wiring and setups but you can do it fairly cheaply. This whole setup here probably costs me less than uh, $40 to set up all of this and you don't need this many lights even one black light or like a bar back black light would be sufficient to help attract attract moths to your yard here are some other people's examples of their setups photographing moths at your lights at night can be tricky but it doesn't have to be expensive one trick that many people do is to use a point and click camera kind of like this one, but to diffuse the flash using paper or cloudy tape or cheap styrofoam party plates, similar to what I've done here. This lowers the flash since you're taking pictures so closely, you don't want it to wash out the subject of your photo. Another tip is to use aperture priority mode. That's the A setting on most digital cameras. And what this will allow you to do is to set the aperture to allow most of your subject to be in focus. Also, you wanna set a lower ISO setting to avoid noise. So play with those settings, play with the ISO, play with the aperture, play with the, the brightness of your flash either by diffusing it or some cameras have settings that allow you to lower that uh, the brightness of your flash to get the most optimal photos. Moths are not just boring and brown. Here are some exciting moths that you may see. For more information, visit nationalmothweek.org. You can also input your sightings into iNaturalist and request ID help.